Hey, what is up, everybody? Ross Cessna from Spiritual Phoenix Studios here. We are on day 37 of the 40 Servants Introduction Ritual. Uh, we're going to meet the opposer today. First off, we're going to talk about the signs from the mother. Um, for me, it's really just about this nurturing and this warmth. Um, I've been really trying to cultivate that energy more consciously, uh, ironically enough, towards my mother. Um, she came over this morning for a business meeting made her breakfast, just kind of had a conversation. Like my mom and I's routine for our business meetings now is um, we meditate beforehand, kind of get centered, and then we just have a checklist of things that we go through. And having like a, a format for communication or like a structured way of doing things and understanding how to navigate the conversation constructively makes all the difference um, in business world and also in um, – family connections too, right? But the energy of the mother is really nurturing. It's uh, about patience and uh, over time, allowing something to grow and expand. And that's the energy that I feel in the context of the business. It's kind of how I felt today in terms of working on things with my mom. Um, I don't know. It was just cool, right? And with that said, we will get into the introduction ritual for the opposer, and then we will chat about them afterwards. I call on you, great servant, the saint, to come to me so I may know you. I am Ross Cessna, the master and ruler of this domain. I call you here so that you can introduce me to the servant, the opposer, who is known for encouraging us to face the opposition and restrictions imposed on us by others. O oh, great servant, the saint, bring the opposer forth so that I may recognize him, and in return he will recognize me as his friend and master. Ever obey me, great, great servant the opposer, and ever please me. In return, I will offer you acknowledgement and sustenance, so that your energy, potency, and fame increase. Give me a sign that you have heard my call, and have come forth to welcome me as your master and friend. I make these offerings as a thanks to both of you. And for the incense, I honestly just picked uh, courage, because I think that opposing some things can take some courage which is not the absence of fear, but continuing on despite fear. And then Amplify, um, just mainly just to help boost it and increase the effectiveness of it. We're just going to pour some tea, and then we will introduce ourselves to the Opposer. All right, let's introduce ourselves to the Opposer. This servant shows us how we are being restricted by outside forces. He encourages us to face the opposition and restrictions imposed on us by others. And his mantra is, nothing can oppose me. Keywords are oppressed, restricted, limited, opposition, hostility, competition, conflict, struggle, clash, contrariety, contention, obstruction, duel, enemy, adversary, antagonist, and hindrance. And the opposer's prayer is, Oh, great servant, the opposer, who sets us restrictions and challenges, remove your influence or representative from my life so that I can get the things I want. May I no longer be obstructed. Um, there's a lot of ways that this could come up. Honestly, uh, with some of the personal changes that I've made over the past uh, six months or so, I, I was beginning to feel restricted by the 12-step fellowship that I used to be a part of, and I've transitioned out of that. Um <laughs> I feel somewhat restricted in some of the choices that I have to make today, just in general life. Not so much because of the laws that have been enacted um, during COVID or some of these restrictions, but some people's inability to just have compassion for other people as a result of those things. Um, there's actually a taking away of other people's liberty by people not having consciousness of their own actions and how it can impact others. Um so I think that I've felt that somewhat. I've been pretty much removed from a lot of that, though, too. Um, and the other oppositional thing is there's been a lot of um, obvious headway in trying to grow online and stuff like that. It is challenging, especially when you're just starting out and learning the algorithms. And there's a lot of moving parts to that. Uh, but with all of those things in mind, too, I've really cultivated a mindset over the past two to three to four years of... Um, embracing the challenge and getting through it. And when I look at kind of the experience that I built up through this whole process, I have confidence that uh, over time, eventually, 
things will give way again, right? Uh, that's kind of one of the things that Bruce Lee used to say is be like water. And if you think about it, water is very gentle, but it's persistent. And that's something that over periods of years, it carved out like <laughs> the Grand Canyon, stuff like that. Uh, something that it couldn't have done um, had it just been so fastly moving or whatever. So sometimes you have to go with the flow, I guess. And with that being said, uh, that is the end of day 37. We are moving on to day 38 tomorrow. I, of course, do not have it pulled up. Let me see. And it is the planet tomorrow for day 38. So thank you so much for checking this out. Uh, I look forward to going over it with you tomorrow. Peace. Thanks again for checking out my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe by hitting the Phoenix down below and check out more of my videos over there.